Hello, sports fans and football fans. You know what today is? Today is Tuesday, and we have completed another week of games in the NFL. We have, in fact, completed week 17, the second to last week of the year. And uh, my record last week, which we always discuss, was an impressive 10 and five as the Steelers came through for me on Monday night and made me 10 and five, even though I tried to pick a couple of upsets, tried to slip a couple in there, didn't really work out well for me. But I still ended up 10 and five, which is a very good record. And so on the year that puts me at 157 and 98 for the 2021 NFL season. But enough about last week. Let's get into this week. All right, so uh, there are two days of games this week. Saturday, the 8th of January, and then Sunday, the 9th of January. And on Saturday, the first game is going to be the... Uh, Chiefs at Mile High in Denver. Now, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm still going to go with the Chiefs here. Yeah, we're going to pick the Chiefs. Even though it's in Denver and even though there could be a snowstorm and that could probably hamper uh, Mahomes' abilities in, uh, you know, because of the elements, and that that would favor a defensive team, which the Broncos really are. But I'm still going to go with the Chiefs in that one. And then the second game is Philly is at home against Dallas. In this one, I am going to go with the Dallas Cowboys because not only are the Dallas Cowboys more talented than the Eagles, but the Eagles have wrapped up the, um, I believe they wrapped up the East, right? No, they wrapped up a playoff berth. So the uh, Eagles are already in the playoffs. So probably are Dallas. In fact, Dallas probably is going to be the NFC East champions. Or maybe that's still up for grabs. I don't know. Leave it in the comments. But anyway... Um, I'm going to go with Dallas. They're still the more talented team, even though there's several occasions on which they have not shown that this year against teams that they were more talented than. But we're going to go with Dallas. Now that brings us to the Sunday games. And you got the Vikings at home against the Bears. And uh, did you guys have the wings or the beers? The Bears. And we're going to take the Bears in this one. Because I don't know if Cousins will be back from his uh, <laughs> COVID hiatus. But, um, you know, it doesn't matter now because Minnesota is out of the playoffs. The Bears were out of the playoffs back on week two. All right, not really week two, but it was a lot earlier than the Vikings. But I still think that um, the Bears have shown that they're, you know, they're playing pretty good football. And uh, the Vikings aren't. The next one we have is the Ravens are at home against the Steelers. I think this one is a no-brainer. I'm going to go with the Steelers here. The Ravens are just a mess. I mean, they play close games, but they lose those close games. And again, we don't know. You know, is Jackson going to be back? Who knows? I'm going to go with the Steelers in that one. Now, uh, the next one we have is the Browns are at home against the AFC North champion Bengals. Yeah, when's the last time you heard that? Well, it was probably, I think, maybe two, 2015. But anyway, we are definitely going to go with the Bengals because I think even if they don't play Burrow, they still want to get, uh, they still want to, you know, get the highest seed that they can get. And um, yeah. I mean, it would be tragic if they didn't play Burrow. But then again, the Browns have injuries, and who knows? You know, even when Mayfield's in there, he's not that good. 
So uh, the next one we have is the Washington football team is going to New York to take on the Giants, the G-Men. I'm going to take Washington here. I think Ron Rivera, I mean, they play good football even when they lose. That cannot be said of the Giants. The Giants are just terrible. That's really what they are, is terrible. And, um, and Washington is not terrible. They're just, they've just been out, simply outclassed on the field with the talent that they've gone up against. But even then, they play good games a lot. The next one we have is my good friends, the Titans, are visiting the Texans. Now, these guys have already lost to the Texans this year, I believe. And um, they do have a tendency to play down to their competition. But I'm still going to go with the Titans this time. I really should pick the Texans because... You know, who knows? I'm, I'm not even sure if the Titans are guaranteed of being in the playoffs. Um, I, would, I would have a tendency to say they are, but we've seen them lose to bad teams, like the Texans, like the Jets, play uh, teams that sh they should have beaten and lose to, like the Steelers. So who knows what's going to happen, but I'm going to go with the Titans. That's just what my instinct tells me. Now you got the Jags at home against the Colts. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're going to go definitely with the uh, Colts in this one. Uh, there's no way. There's no way the Jags... I mean, the Jags are... They're a hot dumpster fire. So, um, I don't see that happening. The next one you got... Um, we have the Lions at home in Detroit against the Pack. The pack is back. And yeah, they're going to be back. And they're going to be all over the Lions. And uh, we're going to take the Packers in that one. It's, uh, it's crazy. I mean, the Packers, really, the Packers are the only team that I ever have confidence when I pick them to win that they're going to win. There's no other team you can say that about. The Buccaneers have played bad against, I mean, they almost lost to the Jets. And, you know, and they have lost to teams that they should have beaten. The Chiefs, they've lost to teams that they should have beaten. The Bills have lost to teams that they should have beaten. The Dallas Cowboys, they have lost to teams that they should have beaten. The list goes on. But where does the list stop? It stops with the Packers. The Packers generally do not lose to teams they should have beaten. The only team that I, I recall that that's happened to this year was the Saints in week one. They really are way better than the Saints. And they should have beaten the Saints, but they didn't. They, in fact, got embarrassed by the Saints. But outside of that, you know. So anyway, next one we've got. Uh, you have the um, Bills are at home against the Jets. The AFC East leading and winning Winning Bills are at home against the Jets. I'm going to go with the Bills here. And I'm going to take the Bills, um, even if uh, their dude, their main man, uh, forget his name, doesn't play. But even if they have my boy Trubisky, did I say my boy? Yeah. Man, we would love Trubisky back. All right, maybe we really wouldn't. I don't know. But even if Trubisky plays... I still think they beat the Jets. I mean, if Trubisky plays with a broken leg, I think they still beat the Jets. So we got that game. And then you've got the uh, Falcons are at home against the aforementioned Saints. The Saints, unbelievably, can still make the playoffs. If they beat the Falcons and the 49ers lose. But... We're still going to go with the Falcons because I think the Falcons are probably, even though they're not motivated to win, football players, when they get out on the field, they, they play they play to win. And uh, the Saints, I mean, the Saints will be playing to win too, but they're all banged up. They Who knows who's going to be the quarterback? It's, you know. So I'm going to go with the uh, Falcons. Um 
in that one. Next one, you got the Bucks are at home against the Panthers. Now, remember, I told you, the Bucks almost lost to the Jets, and Antonio Brown lost his gear and his mind and just left the field in the middle of the game. But we're still going to go with the Bucks in this one. I think they're still better than the Panthers. You could lose a lot of stuff. You could lose a lot of players and be whittled down to I don't even know. You could send the taxi squad out there and probably beat the Panthers. Next one we have is the Rams and the 49ers. Now, I'm going to do my cousin a favor here, and I'm going to pick the Rams to win this one. Because most of the time, when I pick the other team that plays the 49ers to beat the 49ers, the 49ers win. And the 49ers have got to win to make the playoffs. If they win, they're in. If they lose, they go home. The next one we have are the Dolphins are at home against the Patriots. By the way, you're seeing a theme here, aren't you? It, they're all divisional matchups. Leave it to the NFL to leave the last weekend of the year to be a divisional, all division matchup weekend. But anyway, um, yeah. I'm going to go with the Patriots here. Uh, Belichick is not the kind of guy that sits anybody. He's not the kind of guy that takes his foot off the accelerator. He just doesn't do it. So I think that they're going to beat the Dolphins because they're a better team than the Dolphins. Anyway, the next one we have is the Cardinals are at home against the Seahawks. And who am I going to take in this one? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Cardinals. The Cardinals are reeling and they really need to win. And although the uh, Seahawks did drop a 50 spot last week, I don't see it happening again. And then that brings us to the Raiders hosting the Chargers. This game, the winner is in, the loser is out. And who am I going to take? It's crazy, but I'm going to go with the Raiders. I think the Raiders are going to win. They, I think they're hungry, and this game is in Las Vegas. And both teams know that they have to win. But the Chargers, huh. I don't, they're missing that little something. So uh, those are my picks. How did you like them? Yeah, they're great, aren't they? Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what your picks are. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want, just leave me a link to your video. If you have a video where you do uh, your own picks and I'll watch it. But that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.